Hi everybody, Coach here with Packard, and welcome to Coach's Corner. Today we're going to take a look at the EC Max available from Packard. As you may be aware, as of July of 2019, the government has mandated the installation of electronically commutated motors, EC motors, in all gas and oil burning furnaces, as well as any furnace designed for use in manufactured homes. Essentially, any furnace that is less than 80% efficient is now required to have an EC motor installed at the time of manufacture. AC only and air handlers with electronic heat strips are exempt at this time. EC motors first made an appearance in the early 1990s with the variable speed or constant airflow furnaces and air handlers in order to meet the increasing SEER mandates. As SEER ratings continued to increase, manufacturers began installing the constant torque X13 EC motors into the lower SEER rated equipment which at this point is the majority of the install base. As equipment built with the X13 motors are coming out of warranty and PSC motors will, in time, be phased out, the EC Max becomes a great choice as a replacement for both applications. So what's in the box? Obviously the motor. The next thing you're going to notice there will be a bag inside the box containing the following items. Your wiring harness, which may initially look a little confusing until you realize that it's actually three wiring harnesses in one. You have your high voltage power coming in, your black and your white wires. You have your low voltage communicating wires, your red for the X13 replacement and your black for your PSC replacement. And then you have your low voltage torque setting wires. The blue wire is your common, the yellow wire is your high speed, the orange wire is your uh, medium high. Your brown wire is your medium low, and your white wire is your low speed. The next thing you'll see is you'll have your two jumpers, the white being for the 115 and the yellow being for the 230. As it sits right now, the motor is a 230 volt motor. And if you look at the different jumpers, you'll see that the white jumper actually has metal jumpers on it. That tells us that this is a 230 motor. You don't necessarily have to install the yellow one, but we do because we don't want moisture and we don't want dust getting into the, into the plugs. We also have two jumpers, which is necessary for the PSC replacement. And we all have all the hardware that's necessary to make those jumps um, easy for you. The last thing you'll notice is the Y. If the customer gets in and they want to have the same speed setting on heat and cool, all you have to do is wire this in to your, your, your speed of choice and then make this to your Y and your W calls. While there are other EC replacement motors on the market that are multiple horsepower, the EC Max was designed to be easy to install. Motors that are built with multiple horsepower ratings increase the time and complexity of installation. But the EC Max ease of install reduces the time on task, making the tech more efficient in its calls and reduces the chances of mistakes in the process. The wiring harness is designed with Molex plugs that fit into the motor in only one way. The low voltage only fits with the tab facing down. The high voltage covers up the jumper tab. The wiring diagram is simple to follow and practically impossible to lose. It is on the side of the box, it's on the motor itself, and it's in the installation guide. You can also follow us on YouTube channel and search Packard Academy. There you will find Rick Streaker, our national trainer, has produced a short video describing the installation process. The EC Max is a dual purpose, dual voltage motor. Out of the box, the EC Max comes as a 208, 230 volt motor. However, by installing the white jumper, the motor is then ready to be installed on a 115 application. The EC Max is also dual purpose. The EC Max is a constant torque motor that can be used to replace both an X13 constant torque motor and the traditional PSC. I need to take a moment to reinforce a very important aspect of the EC Max, and that is this. The EC Max is a constant torque motor, which can only replace another X13 constant torque motor or a PSC. If the motor that is being replaced requires programming, the EC Max is not the proper choice. Those motors must be replaced by a motor programmed by the OEM or an aftermarket motor that can be programmed to meet the OEM performance envelope. So, why would anyone want to replace a PSC motor with an EC motor? Doesn't an EC motor cost more than a PSC? Two great questions. Yes, there is a price difference between the two motors. However, there are several good reasons for changing the PSC for the EC Max. 
First, cost savings. Because the EC Max is 80% efficient, there is a payback due to savings on utility costs. Of course, those savings are based upon the price per kilowatt hour in your Pacific market. And those who run blowers on constant fan will see the greatest savings. Second, quieter and smoother operation. Due to the ball bearing construction and the motor slow ramp up to full speed, rather than the high torque start of the PSC motor, the EC Max runs smoother and quieter creates less noise that can be transferred through the ductwork. When set on continuous fan, the motor operates at 20% of its full speed, greatly reducing noise. Third, comfort. Air stratification due to high ceilings or poor airflow in the home's ductwork can create either hot or cold spots in the house. Wiring the motor and setting the thermostat to run on constant fan will reduce the warm, those warm and cold spots in the home, improving the comfort. Fourth, IAQ, indoor air quality. These days, we seem to see more people suffering with allergies, asthma, and other respiratory issues. Not to mention today's homes are built to be more airtight, which can lead to issues such as mold. By using IAQ equipment, homeowners can mitigate the effects of these issues on those living in the home. The EC Max allows the homeowner to run their blower on constant fan, improving the effectiveness of their IAQ equipment and taking full advantage of their HEPA filters, UV lights, and dehumidifiers. Fifth, improved airflow. Airflow is vital to the proper operation of HVAC system. One of the ways we measure that airflow is by comparing the static pressure on the supply and the return. The static pressure is most commonly affected by either the dirt load before and after the blower, and properly sized or installed ductwork, and blocked registers and grills. As the static pressure in the system increases, EC motors will improve the airflow when compared to a PSC. However, replacing a PSC and an EC motor is not the solution. The EC Max is a smart motor. Because the PSC's motor's performance is based completely on the laws of physics, it is not easy to modulate in real time the torque and or the speed of the motor. The EC Max and the EC motors in general are smart motors. Located in the control head are several components. The rectifier. This metal core here wound by copper wire converts the AC power from the line coming into the house into the DC power. This allows real-time control of the motor and its performance. The microprocessor, which monitors the relative position and load on the rotor inside the stator hundreds of times per second. Based on that information, it determines the amount of power required to maintain the torque settings on the motor. The MOV, or metal oxide veraster, this little black disc here protects the microprocessor from surges in voltage due to dirty power or from lightning strikes. The MOV is rated for 4,000 volts. Auto sensing technology. The EC Max has a feature that not all EC motors have. When installing the motor into the housing, replacing the new blower wheel in the same configuration as the original. After completing the wiring onto the board, all you have to do is close up the cabinet and start the furnace or air handle. The motor will go through a one-time procedure to determine the proper rotation of the blower wheel. If necessary, the motor can then be reset to set factory standards. The directions are found on page 11 in the install guide. One of the things we're known for here at Packard is our legendary support. The EC Max comes with a two-year warranty. The warranty procedure can be found in the back of your full line catalog, as well as on the website at www.packardonline. Use the pull-down menu under the Support tab, then select Terms, Policies, and Procedures. To our distributors, we can provide you with banners, shelf talkers, and gondola headers, as well as flyers. Just contact your regional manager or call your customer support team member at 800-334-1769 and they can get you what you need. If you are a distributor, don't forget that you can register online for pricing, availability, and a lot more valuable information. Thanks for stopping by Coach's Corner. We hope you found this informative. Please subscribe to our Packard Academy channel to see more informative videos.